He was right from the beginning. They were spying on him. They were wiretapping. They were listening in on Trump Tower. They were so desperate that he not be elected that they misled the most secret court of the United States in order to spy on an opposing political campaign in order to undermine a presidential election. Members of the highest echelon in our FBI and Department of Justice conspired to prevent an outsider from breaking the establishment's stranglehold on the American people. They needed a reason to spy, so they made one up. They used a dossier of lies paid for by a major political party, the Democrat National Committee, and a presidential candidate. Hillary Rodham Clinton to dupe that court. They swore to facts they knew were lies to get what they wanted in order to surveil a candidate they could not imagine being president. A cabal of arrogant, condescending employees of our government whose salaries we pay thought that we didn't count. They so wanted Hillary to become president that they violated all the rules and engaged in a charade so we would think there was a real investigation on the emails. They met on the tarmac. They gave people who didn't qualify immunity from prosecution without getting the required incriminating evidence. The FBI then changed lanes with the DOJ and publicly announced a decision in violation of all ethics rules. And they changed legal definitions to satisfy their political goal. They thought she'd be elected and no one would ever know. But she wasn't. So they plotted an insurance policy to bring him down anyway. You know, I've often talked about the Clintons coming on the scene from Arkansas in their bell bottoms as pigs at the trough, but they really outdid themselves this time, using a foundation in name only to spread the wealth while infecting our departments of justice and the FBI. All the while, their comrades weaponized our tools of intelligence. This is what they do in third world countries, not in America. It's time for a holier than thou Jim Comey and his band of conspirators from McCabe and struck on down to have Lady Justice take off her blindfold and see them for what they are. The arrogance of those seeking a change in a presidential election is unheard of in the United States. And let me be clear. This is not an attack on the FBI or the Department of Justice because these agencies are bigger than a couple of tainted inhabitants. This is not about one party versus another. It's not even about spying on an American citizen. It's about something even more. It's about an attempt to change the course of American history using the most powerful agencies in the United States government. How dare you? And that's my open. Tell me what you think on my Facebook page, Twitter, and Instagram. Hashtag Judge Janine.